I think that this is a time of probably the greatest disruption in education and in learning. And I think we've built an education system which is one of the best in the world. I mean, it genuinely is in Australia, but it was fit for purpose for a time. In a nutshell, schools need to prepare students for jobs that have not yet been created, to use technologies that have not yet been invented, and to solve problems we just can't imagine today. Is the current system fit for purpose for the future? Very clearly, probably not. As a country, I feel that we need to take our education of our young people as our number one priority. Not being afraid to say we have high potential learners and gifted people in Australia. We're not realising the potential of our high capacity students. Uh, certainly that top group where we're cruising, we're drifting. And if that's replicated around the country in various systems, we've got a national problem that has to be dealt with. And there is a sense of, we have high achievement, why should we worry? Well, there's our future talent. We're amazing in this country. At, at, if, if your kid in third grade is the next Ricky Ponting, we spot that. We need to spot if your kid's the next Terence Tao, or the next Brian Schmidt, or the next Susan Corey. That's the crucial role that teachers and schools play. We've got some stunning teachers out there that are having great impact on these kids and trying to understand what they do, what they do and how they think and then scale that up as the art. I think with the Elevate model that we have here, we have a chance to try a lot of these ideas out, find out what really directly impacts different kinds of underperformance mm -hmm. in this country. There's our future leaders, there's our future entrepreneurs, our doctors, our nurses, our teachers. That's about creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, judgment, about ways of working, including collaboration and teamwork, and about the social cultural tools that enable us to interact with the world. Well, I look forward to watching the progress of this, it's very exciting. <laughs>